Tonight, KTC Investigates has a look at ambulance response times. After a shooting at a funeral in Crowley last month, the victim had to be taken to the hospital in a police unit because the closest ambulance was 25 minutes away. Josh Many reports on why it took so long and what changes could be in store. It's tonight's top story. They were like, where's the ambulance? Where's the ambulance? And all we could say was, it's on its way, it's on its way. And we just made the decision that we can't wait. This person can't wait 25 minutes to get to a, an emergency room. When the shooting happened last month, all three Acadian ambulance units in the parish were all out on calls, two in rain, one in Midland. The funeral director even considered using the hearse to transport the victim. But because of the fact that we were appointed for a funeral with the hearse, we could not leave. According to the parish's ambulance permit, Acadian has to maintain an average eight-minute response time on at least 80% of the calls. Acadian Ambulance is reviewing the situation. Our plan and our fix for the, the response is to, is to provide quick backup to the areas that we serve. But one police juror says that's not going to cut it. St. Landry wanted a permit to come into our parish to uh, help out, not take over, to help out Acadian Ambulance. But this past year, the police jury voted that down. Now police juror Ronnie Fallacher wants the people to decide. Why don't they put it to the public, a public hearing, you know, if you want more than one ambulance service or you don't want. In Acadia Parish, Josh Manny, KTC TV3.